going to share the correct way of using Heiken Ashi in your trading. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel, so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video. Firstly, we need to understand what is Heiken Ashi. Just like candlesticks, Heiken Ashi is a way of displaying price data. In the Japanese language, Heiken means average and Ashi means bar. As the name suggests, Heiken Ashi uses average price data to filter out the market noise. Therefore, Heiken Ashi helps us to clearly identify the trend of the market and predict market moves with clarity. Look at this chart. Here on the left side, we have the normal candlestick chart. And on the right side, we have the same chart on Heiken Ashi candles. The price makes a very strong up move in this chart. But on the candlestick chart, we see several red candles in the up move. While on the Heiken Ashi chart, we see only one red candle. The problem with using candlestick charts is that these red candles are nothing but market noise. These small red candles have virtually no impact on the chart. But when new traders are trading this chart in real time, these candles can confuse them. This is where Heiken Ashi comes into the picture. As you can see, Heiken Ashi candles show the clear up move with almost all candles being green. The price action also looks a lot more smoother than the regular candlesticks. This continuity of smooth price action can make life a lot more easier for a new trader. This is why we want to study Heiken Ashi candles. Let us now look at how are Heiken Ashi candles calculated. Just like the Japanese candlesticks, Heiken Ashi candles are also based on time period. This means that each and every candle represents the price action that occurred over a particular period of time. Similar to the candlestick charts, Heiken Ashi candles also consist of four data points. Namely, open, high, low, and close. Now, the open of each Heiken Ashi candle is calculated by adding the open and close of the previous candle and dividing it by two. In other words, we can say that the open of the current Heiken Ashi candle is midpoint of the previous Heiken Ashi candle. The close of the Heiken Ashi candle is calculated by adding the open, high, low, and close of the current candle and divided by four. In other words, it is the average price of the current candle. The high of the Heiken Ashi candle is simply the highest price at which the asset has trader for that particular period of time. Similarly, the low of the Heiken Ashi candle is the lowest price at which the asset has traded for that particular period of time. Now, an important point to note here is that if the close of the current Heiken Ashi candle is at $100, this does not mean that the price is currently trading at $100. The actual price could be 100.5 or 99.5. The point is, the actual price of the asset may vary a little from the Heiken Ashi candles. Hence, we should use Heiken Ashi for our analysis, and we should use candles to execute our trades. But, even if you use Heiken Ashi to execute trades, you will not see a major difference in the price. Now, each and every Heiken Ashi candle conveys a certain message. Our job as traders is to identify and understand the message. So let us now look at how to read Heiken Ashi candles. This is how Heiken Ashi candles look in a typical uptrend. As you can see the trend starts with the first green candle. As new candles are formed, we see that the body of each candles keeps on increasing. And there are now lower wicks formed. This shows us that the price is in an uptrend with a rising momentum. In other words, we can say that the uptrend is gaining strength. Then, as the uptrend starts to become weak, we see that the body of each candle starts to decrease. This means that the body of the candle becomes smaller than the previous candle. We also see that the candles start to have lower wicks. These lower wicks suggest that the sellers have started to push the prices down. 
But still, the candles remain green, which shows that the buyers are still dominating the battle. Therefore we can say that the trend is starting to exhaust. Similarly, a typical downtrend looks like this on the Heiken Ashi chart. The trend starts with this small red candle. As the new candles are formed, the body of each candle gets bigger and bigger. And there are virtually no upper wicks on these candles. This indicates the sellers are gaining momentum and strength on each candle. Hence, it is a good indication for sellers. Then, as new candles are formed, we see that the body of each candle starts to become smaller and smaller. We also witness upper wicks on these candles. This indicates that the buyers are pushing the price and the sellers have become weak. Hence, if we hold any short trades, we should take profits at this price level. And lastly, as the trend starts to exhaust, we see these doji candles. These doji candles have a very small body and large wicks on both the sides. This indicates that the previous trend has completely exhausted and the buyers and sellers are currently on a tight tug of war for dominance. Hence, these doji candles indicate a change in trend might occur soon. Although, this might just be a temporary pause in the trend, and the price may resume the trend. So this is how to read Heiken Ashi candles. We will now use this knowledge and combine it with other technical tools for trading. So first, let us use Heiken Ashi charts to trade breakouts. Look at this chart. Here we have the Euro USD pair on a 5 minute chart. So first, we want to identify the area of support and resistance. Here we can see that the price has found support twice. Hence when the price approaches this level the third time, we want to pay attention. As we can see, the price breaks below the support level. If we look closely, we can see that the two candles after the breakout have big bodies and no upper wicks. This gives us a strong signal that the breakout could be successful and the price might sell up very rapidly. Hence, we can sell at this point. We keep our stops above the support level and we keep our targets at 2 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. And as we can see, the price gave a strong down move. Here is another example. Here we see that the price was previously in an uptrend. Then it paused the trend and created a small flag pattern. Now, here the stock breaks this flag pattern. As we can see the candles that follow are big candles and both of them have no lower shadow. But the problem is, the second candle is smaller than the first one. In a typical scenario, we want to see the candles get bigger and bigger. So we cannot take a buy trade just yet. We wait. As you can see, the price does take a pause as it makes these two doji-like candles. But very soon we see a big green candle again with no lower wicks. Now, we can confirm the upside momentum and place a buy order. So we buy here and keep our stop loss below the trend line. We can keep our target at 2 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. And as you can see, the trade gave us good profits. Another way of using the Heiken Ashi candles is to trade reversals. To catch market reversal we will use our knowledge of Heiken Ashi and combine it with the RSI indicator. I have made a separate video on the RSI indicator. If you want to check it out, then click the link in description below. So we will use the overbought and oversold levels of the RSI and combine it with the Heiken Ashi candles to trade. Look at this chart. Here we can see that the stock made a strong up move here. Now, we see the RSI and notice that the value of the RSI is above 70 which means that it is in an overbought area. So we can expect the price to fall. But at the same time, the price could just continue the uptrend. So, the best thing to do here is to wait for the candles to unfold new information. We see that the price forms three red candles, but we do not short the market because the candles are too small to indicate a trend change. 
Then we see two green candles. Again, they are small as well. Then we see five doji candles in succession. This, again gives us more evidence that the buyers and sellers are at a war with each other. And then, finally we see two big red candles without any upper wicks. This clearly shows that the sellers are now ready to push the prices downwards. Notice how big these candles are and compare them to these candles. These candles clearly show a big rise in momentum. Hence, we sell here and keep our stop loss above the entry candle. We can keep our targets at 2 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. And as you can see we made profits in this trade. That brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video then be sure to subscribe to our channel as we share new videos every week to help you become a better trader.